scene right now, and CBS 2's Lou Young is there for us live. Lou, what can you tell us at this time? We're on Riverside Drive, about 300 yards from the elementary school here, where people are using uh, this road to access the area to pick up their children. Uh, this mother here uh, already has a couple of her children and is looking for some other, uh, some other missing uh, youngsters that uh, she wants to uh, have in her custody to get out of the area. You see, people are very worried as they come down the road here. The school is just up the road and to the left. Uh, we're be we've been uh, allowed to sit up in this area here inside the uh, yellow tape, but are being kept away from the school itself. Uh, some folks are coming back after picking up their kids. They were notified by a text message. Sir, can I talk to you a second here? Uh, we're Channel 2 in New York. Um, how did you find out about this, uh, about this terrible tragedy? Okay. My daughter's in third grade. Um, we got um, an automated call from the town yeah. that there had been a shooting. Sure. But nothing about where the shooting was and that the schools were on lockdown. So you're assuming probably it's the high school at first, right? And then of course, and my yeah. son's at the high school. I text him. Yeah. He said everything's fine here. And then I got another text from uh, CBS that it was on Dickinson, and that's her school. So I drove right here. I saw the panic. Yeah, right. And um, I talked to some of the moms, and they said that the principal had been shot. Wow, my goodness. And some children came out bloody. I don't know if they've been shot. Um, so and we were been, you, this is a frantic time for this is every parent's worst. Oh my God, especially here in Sandy Hook. Yeah. No, so, so we may as well talk to your daughter? Yes. What's Sophia. your name, sweetheart? Sophia. You're looking for news. There's a news conference right over there. You're Thank you, ma'am. Thank you very, ma'am. Okay, I appreciate it. Uh, the uh, What did you see or hear anything? Did you know anything was wrong? Um, what happened in your class? What happened in your class? Well, we were at morning meeting and then we heard shooting and then we went to the corner. And then the teacher told me that she locked the door. She locked the door? Were you afraid? Yeah. But uh, I, I, uh, how long before you saw your parents? Did they tell you your parents were going to come get you? Oh, okay, well, I can, right. I can, this is a little a little uh, unsettling, I guess, Sorry, for a youngster. She's been on, on, on TV, and thank you so much. You want to go home and enjoy the rest of your day. This is a scary time for all the folks here. Uh, there is a briefing going on up the road, as that, uh, that lady just uh, said just a, a few moments ago. You see some folks coming back, very worried faces here. Uh, they had no idea what was happening. They got the text message. They heard the word shooting from the school district, but they didn't know where it had taken place. And then when they called the elementary, school there was no answer and that is terrifying uh, right now what we can tell you is there is a very orderly uh, way in which they, the children are being picked up they uh, the cars for the parents are being parked on the road behind us perpendicularly behind our truck here and they are walking in to retrieve tr uh, to uh, retrieve their children I see these folks over here there this lady is loading up I'll see if she wants to speak with us at all about what this process has been like ma'am Lou Young from Channel 2 I, okay, I can tell. She's a little upset. She doesn't really want to talk, but she has a, a number of children she uh, has been picking up. She had two youngsters with her earlier. She was on a cell phone uh, trying to find out where the other children were. Obviously, a lot of parents not able to get here. But you can see this road here running up to the school is like a, a, a refugee highway. You see people unloading on their cars, walking up, and then walking back with their children in their hands. Some of the children very upset. Others uh, oblivious as children might be from time to time. But that's a situation here we did hear that the principal has been injured or possibly killed we have not confirmed that that's what the parents are telling us as they come out uh, and again this happened just about two hours ago uh, here in uh, Newtown where we are physically is uh, on the um, the eastern side of Fairfield County this is uh, still a part of Connecticut that considers itself more New York than New England uh, we're close to the Housatonic River north of Bridgeport and um, and east of Danbury Connecticut uh, it is a uh, part of our suburbs and these people People are very, very traumatized by the situation here today. A shooting at Sandy Hook Elementary School in this very picturesque area. We'll continue to work the area here and uh, see if we can get a little closer to the scene and bring you an update in a little bit. Lou Young, uh, very quickly, before you go, um, two things. We understand that if it was a teacher or the principal, uh, our reports are saying that he was shot in the foot. It does not appear to be life-threatening, which is good news. But also.